How are you doing today? Today on the Belser Show, we're going to attempt to modify my Defender body, boys. Friggin' right we are, because uh, she's pretty much euchred anyways. And I want to try to get some weight off the top and see if we can't lower her down to see what we can get going on her, eh? Hopefully you enjoy this little video. we got to take all this stuff apart and see what happens. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you do like this kind of video. And everything else that you normally do. Why wouldn't you? Leave your comments below. I'm thinking about building myself an RC crawler course in the backyard. But I need to know how many of you is, or any of you is, in my area with crawlers, boys. Because I don't want to spend weeks, months, whatever building a course and no one comes that would just suck ass it would like i said leave your comments below on that tell me what you think tell me if i'm wasting my time or if you don't like me why wouldn't you we're going to start by uh pulling this cage apart on this thing and uh we'll see if we can't notch her down to a pickup truck style or something like some people are doing so let's just get right at her and see what we can get done why wouldn't we right it's gonna be fun boys girls peoples it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be friggin' a lot of editing. And all that kind of good stuff. First thing you wanna do is remove the cage on top, boys. So we'll remove the old root rack rooski. Where's the tape, boys? I need some tape for that bit. That's gonna drive me friggin' to drink. Somebody mentioned on my last comment, tape it. Well, good idea. But like I said, I was changing the tip a lot. So I didn't wanna untape it every five minutes. But this is mostly the same size screw, so we'll tape her up. Just for you, eh? Friggin' right, just for you. My old kitty kitty there is, she's always right on top of me, boys. She never leaves me alone, she don't. Like, oh, look at that. Holy. So now I'll undo all these. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just undoing screws and hoping for the best, eh? Now, I don't know how a lot of guys, I haven't watched any videos on this at all. We'll start here and go from there. What are you doing? Would you get? Yeah, I see. Holy, there's a lot of screws in this thing. My God, what's really going on, Traxxas? Now that you have that apart, let's get off the side rails and we'll have to reassemble them. Later we will. We gotta get everything out of the way we do, including the cat. Yeah! Kitty kitty. Hopefully everybody's having a great weekend. I know it's been a kind of a crappy weekend in my neck of the woods, but hopefully everybody else has been having a good weekend and watching good old Kevin Talbert's RC videos and watching good old RC Sparks videos, eh? I love the friggin' stuff RC Sparks has on there now, boys. My god, eh? If only we could do her, boys. Good for him. Me can't afford it. Uh-oh. See? Bigger. Freak sakes! That's kind of alright because I don't even know if I can get in here, to be honest with you, with a gun, so... Screw her from the inside, they do. Why wouldn't they? My eyes are going, boys. I can't see nothing. Not a darn thing, boys. There's one here, too. Let's see if we can get these ones first. Do you see me? Probably not. There she is. So one do that like so. Uh-oh, drop the screws, boys. Hang on to her, Jim. So the screws are right inside here, and it's kind of a pain in the arse it is. Not really that fun of a job, boys, to be honest with you. But hey, it is what it is, it is. So what do we got left over here, boys? The snorkel, eh? So we'll just undo this screw on the old snorkel rooski. That way we can leave the snorkel on. Well, that should be for the snorkel, so that should just come off. There it goes. So there's one side. There we go. So we'll take all the bits and pieces out. There we go. Now we'll pull. Oh, it fell off. Where is it, boys? Here it is. So there we go. We got that all off. Oh, it's out of our lighter. So what I'm going to do, leave your comments below, but I'm not sure. Should I cut it behind the driver's door and make her a big long one? Or should I cut her behind the back door and just take her off the back? I'm thinking up front because then this window isn't going to look right. But it will because I got to notch it. So maybe if I cut along this line and then step down, I can make it like it's half convertible target top. So I'm going to start by taking my little X-Acto knife, starting at the edge of that trim at the top. And we're going to run her along. We are nice and slow and gentle and easy. Make sure you do not cut your fingers off, boys. Jeez. We'll stop there for now. Where's the line gone, boys? Can't see it. As you go, it should cut deeper and deeper, hey? Eh? I do this with an exacto knife, but I don't have one. We're gonna have to do her the slow and easy, careful, gentle way, boys. It's almost through, I can feel it. Let me go see if I can find an exacto knife, because that ain't working. Be right back. I did have one, I found one, boys. Try it with this knife. Oh, what a difference. Kinda, sort of. Oh, that's gonna be hard to cut, man. That's some 
Thick ass plastic. Oh yeah, something's happening, boys. I'll tell you what's ha what is happening is a blade isn't going where I want it to. I'm gonna cock it all over, I am. Start coming back this way. Gonna have lots of patience for this. You know what else I should have used is some lube, boys. Nothing like some lube. Careful. Easy. Gentle. I think we got her. So there's one side. So now we'll do the same on the other side. And I'm gonna start by doing it this way, I think. So we'll slide right down this line. Just like that, eh? Leave it to the dirty old Bilsa to hack up his defender body. Send it to me, boys. I'll do her. It's only a body, Jim. They make them every day, they do. <sighs> okay, so that's done. Get the sides cut. So now, I want to follow this line across. I don't have I don't have a straight edge, boys. Or use a straight edge. We don't need a straight edge. What's with the cat, boys? Cat got me all cocked up. It did, making a whole bunch of noises. Holy body's getting flimsy now, boys. There it is. All right, so now we just got to come down to our line at the side. Make a dollar and dicks. Just saying. There we go. There's one side. Ooh, eh? Hey, ooh. One thing I'm not worried about is cutting the door up a little bit because that's coming off anyway. Maybe. Holy. The old Lexan bodies are pretty strong. So there we go. We got that part off. So now we just got to cut the back off, but what I want to do there is I want to save the back so it fits in here. So we got to cut along this line on the roof because you want a little bit of a gap, boys. So you can slide it under and reuse it in the front so it locks in, eh? There we go. Next side. Hey, okay, look at that. There we go. So there's the roof piece. Not bad, eh? Kind of straight cuts on her. So now that we've done that, we need to cut, take off the spare and stuff. We need to do that right now first, actually, because it's in my way, it is. So now with the roof off, we can actually get in here a little easier, we can. It just made my body easier to work on by cutting the roof out of where I did. Remove El Sparrow. Holy shit, I want to come off. Oh, she's turning. Frig. Stripped on the old doodad. I can't get her out, boys. Thanks a lot, Traxxas. What's really going on? Here, let's put a nut in there. You can't get it off. Well, I guess we're gonna try to get the whole bracketry off just to get the damn spare tire out. Gotta do what you gotta do. You do. The screw right in beside the friggin' rim. That you gotta try to get to because the damn tire don't come off. All right. So, sure enough, you can't grab a hold of the backside of that. So we're gonna have to play with that in a bit, we are. But, now I got that off. So we gotta use this piece at the back for up here. I'm gonna cut along this body line. So make sure no wires are in the way because I do have this thing wired up with all the light kit in it. We'll get them out of the way and then we'll just start back here. We'll take this back door and we'll go right down our boys. Just like that, eh? There we go, I went right through that time. Right across here, boys. Now, this is where it's tricky because you gotta try to keep straight but it's really hard to see. Just go by your instincts and you should be able to line it right up like I just did. Oh yeah, I did. There we go. There we go. So now that that's off, we could decide whether or not we're keeping the back door on or not. Kind of either have to take it off or leave it on, don't we? There's door handles on there, but they're only stickers, so we can make her look like a two door. We could. Let's do her. Why wouldn't we? Take the door off, boys. Whoo, hey, whoo. It's kind of looking a little cocked over, to be honest with you, but we'll get her. Don't worry, boys. I have the technology. We can rebuild. And then we gotta figure out how to do the friggin' top part. Should be pretty easy. Boy, is this thing gonna handle like it's on rails? It's almost there, girls. Alright, there's one. We gotta save all these pieces because I friggin' need them. So I can rebuild the old Defender's key. There we go, boys. So we got that piece we're gonna need. And we got screws and everything else falling out of her. So now what I gotta do is I gotta put guys steps and straighten that up a little bit because she's a little crooked. Oh, there they are. I was out there looking for them like I normally do. You know how I go through my toolbox. They're right beside me, boys. Thank. So, what I gotta do is I just gotta straighten this rooftop up. So, there's that part done. She's gonna look like she's a long pickup truck. That's freaking decent. So, now what I wanna do is I wanna trim off this back section so I can reuse it. Cut her along here, boys. And cut her along here, boys. See, now I can take that. You got a little lip. We can put her in like that. Or over top, whatever you want. We'll go over top, because that way it holds it. And there's the back windows, boys. Freaking decent. And then we'll take this, and we'll modify it to fit on there. And then she's a freaking pickup truck, boys. 
we're gonna have to section this out, we are. I'm just start, I'm just opening up a bag of worms, I am. Or I can make it out of something else. And then once we put this netting back on, we can actually cut it the back of the cab, and then we can lower it, and we can put it on here. So this part will actually be on the back of the truck like that, boys. That's gotta be freaking decent. Let's carry on right after this commercial break. Okay, boys. So now what I'm gonna do before I do anything else, I got this kind of notched out. I'm gonna make it like a carbon fiber tunnel cover and I'm gonna make the rack fit it and stuff like this and put the spare tire on it and it's gonna be friggin' decent. But right now I wanna get this back piece mounted. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna screw it in so it holds up, eh? So I'm just gonna start by putting a hole here, one there, one there. We'll set this in. I am gonna go in because it brings it down further and we'll, we'll uh, do a little pilot holeage. So we can see where boats is gonna be, boys. So we'll find a screw that fits in that and uh, see if she fits, boys. See if I got her lined up right. Come on. Fingers don't work now. All right, boys and girls, so that's what I did there, eh? I just put two screws in the roof, two screws in the side, and that holds the back on it does. So it looks pretty friggin' decent. Look at that, eh? Friggin' right it does. She's fully modded, she is. So now that that's on, what we got to do is we got to make this into a tunnel cover somehow and then we got to cut all this to work because i could probably cut that right there let's cut that off and put that back on boys oh man i hope this works she's done now now we'll put this light back in so it's not bouncing all over the damn place boys girls peoples and there's one there's two now we need the bar for the center and then we can screw it down too to help hold her down, boys. There we go. So now all I can do is drill a couple holes in that, and then we can friggin' mount that down. The old stainless steelers are coming in handy, boys. So there we go, that holds that part on, which looks friggin' decent. Might as well build her as we go, eh? Reassemble as we go, boys, because we still gotta line up all of the friggin' mounting brackets for the back, too. So this isn't a five minute job, by all means. What the fuck is going on here? So the front cage is mounted, and it's pretty friggin' sturdy, boys. Now we can start in the back again. What do you think, boys? Should I make it so you can see in? And just kind of lift that into the edge just to finish her off? I just lift that in like that, bolt that to the side, cut this all down so it mounts back on. So I'll just have to cut that, and then I can slide that into there like that. And then I can actually mount that right there. Drill a hole through that, cut that down. Or, or boys. We gotta really think this one over, we do. Cause that's designed to sit like that. So how am I gonna do this? We'll figure it out, don't worry. I almost have to mount this first. Why mount with that? And then cut this down and have a curve on the side. Let's get this mounted back to this cage. And we'll see how where it fits and where and how and how and where, eh boys? We're gonna have to get the chassis down here to make sure we line the uh, mount holes up too. This is just constant fabrication, boys. Fabricating the hell out of this thing we are. We gotta figure out how low we need this to sit. So if I take this, I'm just gonna do this, boys. Close your eyes. Snipper there. Snipper there. Snipper there. Snipper there. And then we'll have to cut off the bottom ring, but we'll leave the top ring. It'll still have a ring around it. A ring around the rosy, boys. See the holes line up now. So now I'll be able to catch the original holes, and we'll be able to mount her down further, like that. Now we're cooking with butter. So now I wanna cut those holes out so they match. That way I can pinch that in. All right, boys and girls, the dirty old Defender's coming along pretty good at it. So what I've done is I've put a section in here just to hold her straight, and I've carbon fibered wrapped the tunnel cover, eh? So it's actually pretty friggin' strong, boys, believe it or not. I put screws in the sides of the, tunnel, of the roof and bolted it to the body on both sides so this won't come out. I bolted on the back like you've seen. I bolted this down at the back of the roof to hold that roll bar. Now what I gotta do is I gotta mount this on there like that, boys. What do you think? Leave your comments below if you like that look. I think it looks pretty freaking killer, I do. Hey, eh? It's gonna look killer when I'm done, boys. So I'll mount that to that once I figure out where the holes are. So we're gonna go up, grab the chassis, bring it down, set it down here, and hey, look, that's all I have left from the body, boys. I used everything else. We'll get the doodad and whatnot, and we'll stick her on top and see where we need to cut notch amounts for that. We will. So what we're going to need to do here is remove this 
and we'll see if we can't uh, get this body to fit. I guess I should have checked this before I started this, but I'm going to friggin' make it work now. Too far ahead now, boys, to quit, eh? And of course, we're going to have to cut her down, but I want to see if I'm going to have enough room back here to keep this little part. So, we'll slap the body on like this. Oh, boys, it's friggin' decent right there, I tell ya. Oh, frig yeah, this is going to be awesome. Hey, let go. Let go. So the antenna we're going to have to poke a hole for. I think, unless we just move it. Let's just move it for now. I don't think I want the antenna sticking through there. So, so what we need to do is, we need to figure out how high we can go. So let's cut these off, because we're not gonna be able to use this anyway. So we'll just cut it off right, I'm just gonna guess and say right here. Help me make this video viral, eh? How to customize a Defender body, boys. Why wouldn't you help me? We'll slide this back in like so. There we go, and hopefully it's gonna sit perfectly right once I get the holes drilled in her. So the holes need to be, oh my God, it's gonna be friggin' perfect, man. So I gotta figure out how to mark the holes, so I'll show you how I do that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take my grease, I'm gonna put a little blob on each top, boys. I'll set the body in the front where it needs to be. There you go, click. And we'll make sure we come down perfectly level and just touch it. And there you go, boys. Mark, mark. So now we gotta cut that out, we do. To cut that out, I'm gonna use this bit, because I don't have a fancy friggin' hand bit like a lot of you guys out there, you know that, right? So we'll mark that there and we'll give her a ding dong. Next. Careful. Think next. There we go. So now we'll throw it back on and she should be right on the money, boys. Look at that, eh? Almost like I knew what I was doing or something. So now we'll see if this lines up. Oh, boys. We don't even need to mount that down. Hey, okay? the pins will hold her on, Jim. We gotta bring, we gotta come up a little bit though with the mount. I can put some screws in that top rack after we're done, but the mount's gotta come up just a hair ski. So what I'm gonna need is another drill bit. Bring it up just a hair, I'd say right there. So now I'll put the screws back in that, in as far as we can, boys. Actually, she's gonna take her all. She's gonna freaking take her all, she is. So there we go, that's mounted. So now we can throw the body back on, and we can throw this on. As soon as I find the holes, boys. Where's the holes, Jim? There they are. We'll throw the pins in. Look at them tires quash, eh? That's freaking decent right there. And there we go, boys. Look at that, eh? What do you think? I'm gonna mount the tire in here once I figure out how to unstrip it. But uh, we'll put the gas tank back on this and that and the other thing because it looks kind of cool there anyway. Well, there we go, boys and girls. Modified Defender. TRX4 lower chassis body. Check her out, eh? Friggin' it turned out friggin' decent. She's not 100% boys, but she's a crawler, but I'll tell you one thing, she's solid. And uh, that should really make a difference when we're crawling, boys. Hey, she won't be so tipsy now. I just gotta fix the antenna, don't let me forget. And other than that. Look at it. Anyways, boys, hopefully everybody had a good day and you liked this video and don't forget to share and to subscribe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and you know what to do for now.